What the sus are easy pages? What's up, everybody? Did Upex just make Google Ads that much easier? So easy, in fact, that your grandma could run search campaigns better than your top media buyer? Uh-huh, yeah, they did. That is what we do. So, with easy pages, you don't have to set up tracking anymore. You don't have to build individual landing pages anymore. All that is done, set up for you within a click. So, check out the video, enjoy, and happy agency hunting, which by the way, going into 2025, there are going to be opportunities for you to monetize and to make money like never before. Let Easy Pages be one of the features that you can roll out to your customers and crush the agency game once again. Let's go. And the goal of Easy Pages from the beginning was we wanted to make it as easy to launch a Google campaign as it is to launch a Facebook lead gen campaign. Okay. Now, with that being said, we have built in very specific limitations. Uh, we do have uh, some updates that are already rolling out. Our developers have already pushed out a couple of updates on Easy Pages, and we've also got some new layouts that are going to be coming into play for you guys as well. Um, so just kind of keep an eye out on those. But let's start with uh, the beginning. So in order to get Easy Pages, first and foremost, you guys have to be at least on the 297 plan to get access to it. As long as you're on the 297 plan, you'll be able to, Easy Pages is already in your account. To enable Easy Pages, you go to your preferences page and you're going to check this box, which is enable Easy Pages. Okay. That's then going to create inside of both your Facebook and your Google templates. So on, on both of them, it's going to create a new step for you. Okay. It's, and it's identical in terms of uh, the, the functionality, but you're going to see this Easy Page template, right? And then that's where you're going to have layouts that you can choose from and then domain names that you can choose from. So here's our first limitation, guys. For now, we are going to be releasing the ability for you to put your own domains in to Easy Pages, and your clients can put their own domains into Easy Pages. That is coming, okay? But the point of Easy Pages is to make it as easy as possible to launch these. And we all know how fun it is to tell your client, hey, Mr. Client, I need you to go into your DNS records and set the C name record and they gloss over, and then you're spending a week trying to get this stupid domain name to finally show up, right? We've all been there, we all hate it. So we said, okay, what if we just gave you guys a bunch of domain names that are brand agnostic, that you can just say, we're gonna use this for my easy page, and then all your client has to do is click, or yourself, just click launch campaign, and it's got the domain name already set, hooked up, and all that's ready to go. Um, honestly, nobody cares about these domain names, so especially from a Facebook perspective, they don't even see the domain name. So it's not like we're like, you need to have your branding in there. It's really not that important. What matters more is, does it relate to the keywords that you're going for in terms of a keyword or in terms of a search campaign? So you've got these ready to go domain names to start with. Like I said, in the near future, you're also going to have a button here that's going to say, add your own domain name that you can then add a domain name if you want to. All right. Or and then you also see that on the client side where the clients will be able to add their own domain names. The other thing then is you can then select a layout. Now, one of the updates that's going to be pushed out uh, either today or on Monday because we don't do releases on Friday. Friday releases are always a bad idea because then it breaks and nobody's there to fix it. So uh, it'll either be released today or on Monday. AI is actually going to pre-generate all of your content. So it's actually going to go through if you're creating a brand new template it's going to take the content that you've already put in your template. If it's an already existing one, it's going to review your whole template and it's going to pre-write in your landing page content for you. So you don't have to worry about creating brand new stuff. All you have to worry about is maybe editing and tweaking and all that, you know, all the, all the little kind of stuff in there. But in order to edit an easy page, again, we wanted to make it as easy as possible on you. If you want to change this headline, you just click on it and you start typing. And then you click away and that's the headline. You want to change this, click away and you do this. Now, we've already gotten some feedback where people are getting confused on these layouts, thinking that, for instance, this one is a webinar layout, right? Or at least the content on is relating to webinars. And people think the only thing they can use this layout for is a webinar. You can use these layouts for whatever your heart desires. You do not have to be, we're, we're going to, one of the updates that we're pushing out is changing all of this to lorem ipsum text. So people don't think that they're limited in terms of what you can do with it. Every layout, you can just 
put stuff in there, okay? So you don't have to, to, to worry about that. All of these have the, the pop-up buttons, right? If you wanted to change this picture, I can go in here and put this awesome picture of Sam in there, right? So all of the different elements are all uh, editable, right? You just click on it and you edit. The other nice thing about it is it uses custom values, right? So the up hex custom values. So it's the same concept as when you do custom values in your template, uh, where you're going to say, you know, city.name or whatever. You can put those in there. Your client or your staff, if you're launching internally, will be asked the answer to those questions before it actually launches and they'll be injected into that client's easy page. So again, you'll be able to edit things as you need to without having to you know, create whole brand new pages for individual clients. You can get all the little pieces that they want in there. Another update that's gonna be coming here uh, next week is color choices. So right now we don't let you change the colors because these are all proven landing pages. Every layout that is in here is a proven landing page with at least a 20% conversion rate behind it, okay? So, but we understand that some of you guys will want to have color layout options and stuff to better, better match branding and whatnot. So you will be able to start changing colors and stuff out here uh, in the next few days as well with, uh, with easy pages, okay? Now, once you've made your edits that you want to, you go ahead and hit save. You'll see it's now highlighted in blue. So this is now the landing page for this template. Okay. Then if you want to do your thank you page, so do this layout, same concept, right? Everything, you just click on it, you change it, right? I want to put this picture of Sam in here now, right? So you, everything's editable, you save it, and now you see this one's highlighted in blue. So you've got your landing page, you got your thank you page. Again, when we first uh, were putting this together, I was just hunting for what converts the best, okay? We are going to also start having matching landing page thank you pages here. I'm almost done loading them in, so you'll probably actually see them tomorrow. Um, the layouts where you'll actually see matching ones, and when you select one, it'll automatically select your thank you page as well. But you can also mix and match if you want to. Um, just, just know that everything that's in here, if you see it as a template inside of Easy Pages, it is proven to have at least a 20% conversion rate behind it because of its layout, okay? So really, really solid conversion rates as far as all that is concerned. Once you have, you know, so let you put in your landing page, you put in your thank you page, you go ahead and you hit save template. Now this landing page is templatized, okay? So any client that launches now the, in this case, the 24 TKD growth roadmap, any client that runs that is going to get that landing page if they select it. So here's how that looks uh, from both an internal side uh, standpoint as well as um, inside of Go High Level if they're launching it. So if they select this template, they're going to see now an, a new option of them. In, in the case of Facebook, they're going to see Easy Page. So if they select Easy Page, so there's that custom valuable, right, that, that uh, I put in there. I just called it custom value. So that's why it all says is custom value in this case. But they have to answer that question. Right. So they'd answer that question. They put in their budget and then they'd go ahead and they'd click that launch campaign. OK. And it's now building in this case of Facebook, but it works the exact same way with Google. It's the exact same functionality. It is now building their campaign and their landing page for that campaign. The other thing that it's doing is it's putting the tracking on that, uh, all of the tracking on that landing page as well. And Anybody that fills out the, pay, the the form on that page is going to show up here under your lead center. And when they sh they fill out that, if you connected the um, push leads to Go High Level here, it'll then send that lead to that client's Go High Level account with any associated tags that you've added inside of the template. So if you guys haven't seen this yet, you'll see that we have this option here to GHL custom tags. So you can add tags in and then we'll also, uh, when we push the lead to go high level, we'll also push it with those tags. So then you can fire off any workflows or automations or anything like that, that you want to, to fire off. So I'm almost done explaining. And then I know you guys are going to have questions. So um, when you do launch an easy page, let me actually do here. Cause I know I've got an easy page launched here. So when you do uh, launch an easy page, you're going to see them on an individual client basis here as well. So you'll be able to see 
here's what, you know, here's the easy page, right? So it's got the, the, do the domain name. This is our test domain name. So that's why it says staging up there. But it's got the domain name, right? It's got all the stuff in here. It's got, you know, everything the way that you wanted it to do, blah, blah, blah. So it's all in here, right? All ready to go. Also loads instantaneously, which for those of you who know, that's important, um, but loads instantaneously. And if you, let's say your client says, hey, I want you to change this picture or blah, 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 right? You, and then pretty soon your client, we're going to give them the option to, to also be able to edit their own easy pages and go in. You go to land, you select what you want to, and now, just like how it was before, everything is editable. And you just put in what you want to, and then you save it. And now that is what is now live on that easy page. If your client doesn't pay their bill, and you're like, look, you don't get to use this landing page anymore, you can toggle the page off, and now it no longer works. So if they don't pay their bill, you can uh, you can make sure that they they don't get free landing pages in the process. All right, um, and oh, and like I said, um, the tracking is automatically installed, um, so it's all in there um, when they put in right. So they do all this stuff right. They get taken to the the thank you page, and then the leads will all show up here inside of that lead in your lead center.